Hello, hello, beautiful people. Hello, everyone. How are you doing? Is anyone going to join me so that I can share my journey with you? My experience coming back from Kiev, I had an appointment and is just, uh, the appointment was great. Everything went well. As you know, this morning I already did a vlog and you know that I had a plasma treatment this morning. So before I start, I just let more people come and join me so that I can tell you what happened. And um, then we have a topic that I had in mind. Well, I had a po I have a topic in mind. So if you want to join me with that one as well, that would be great. So where is everybody? How is your day going? Um, well, even if there's no one here, let me just share it so you can watch this video later. There's so much that happened. Um, I wanted to talk to you about potential but if I don't have enough people to interact with me I will leave it for another day I'll just tell you about my day and you know my journey back from Kiev how that went it was just oh oh guys you need to hear this so is anyone going to join me so that I can tell you about my journey my journey back from Kiev you really need to know this you really really need to get this what time is it over there? Wherever you are, let me know. I'm interested to know. Here in Kiev, it's just gone past, what, it's just going to 2 o'clock, I believe. So, uh, I don't know what time it is over there, wherever you are, let me know, guys. How are you? How is your afternoon going? How is your Monday going? Are you loving your Monday? I'm loving my Monday so far because I had an objective. I had a goal this morning and I've accomplished um, my morning goal, which is to go out for my appointment and come back as soon as possible, which I did, although I did encounter some drama, which I want to tell you all about. I'm interested in tell, to tell you what, my dra what the drama I encountered on the way was all about. I'm in one of the rooms right now in DSA's house um, doing my vlog because the people out there in the VIP, uh, they're working. I don't want to disturb them. I just really want to share my day experience with you or my morning experience slash day with you. It's actually very interesting. And I think if you're coming here to Kiev, you really need to hear it. You really need to know because it might affect you as well. So guys, if you want to know what this is, say hello. Let me know who you are, who's joining me right now. And I can tell you the story of what happened to me this morning. Hello, Kemi. How are you? Thank you for joining. Thank you so much. How is your day going? How was the weekend? I was Mother's Day yesterday. I hope you enjoyed it. And Ayo gave you lots of kisses and gifts. I trust him anyway, Ayo. He would not deprive mommy of um, uh, Mother's Day uh, kisses. So, yeah, he's a little bit grown up now. He can be doing a little bit of shakara, but I trust him. We'll be giving you hugs and kisses for Mother's Day. How are you? Kemi, I hope you're alright. So guys, how did your mother's go mother's day go yesterday? How was it? I hope it went well and you guys had fun, all the mothers out there. I don't think I remember to say happy mother's day. Uh no, I did in one of my vlog, but I didn't do it in all of the vlog I did yesterday. But well, happy belated Mother's Day. If I didn't say happy Mother's Day to you, I'm just saying it now. So I hope you had a good time. So I really want to tell you about my experience this morning, this afternoon. You know, I went to have the plasma treatment on my gum and you know, that went really well. It was actually quicker than I thought. There was a little bit of discomfort while it was going on, but it's not a big deal. The benefits far outweighs the discomfort. So I don't really mind. I was okay with the slight um pain it's not too much of a pain actually i don't even think i can call it pain but you know if you check my vlog this morning you will know what i did i have some pictures that i want to post up but i'm a bit wary of some people that are afraid of blood the plasma treatment in involves blood so if you don't like to see blood and I post it, you might find it a bit challenging. So I'm still thinking if I'm going to post it or not. I know I said this morning that I will post it, but this morning when I was trying to show it, this afternoon when I got home, I was trying to show it to some people and they were a little bit squeamish. Hello, Anoju, thank you for joining me. I'm still going to tell the story about my journey here um, to the house from Kiev 
where I went to have my plasma treatment. You all need to hear this because it's crazy. It is crazy. I can't believe what happened. It's pretty safe in the end. I was okay, obviously. I'm okay that I'm talking to you, so I am safe and well, but you really need to hear this. This must save somebody. Actually, this must save somebody's, um, somebody from wasting money, grief, a lot of things, you know. You need to know there's, there's some prejudice and stereotypes that goes on here, and that stereotype is involving somebody that uh, we all know, you probably won't even be surprised once I tell you the story. Daniela Sanga, how are you? Thank you for joining me. Hello again, Anu. Thank you. Thank you. I can see your hello. Guys, please do me a favor. I don't remember to tell you this all the time because I'm just so eager and excited to just be around the people that are with me. So, or to keep talking to you, can you please share this video can you all please share this video i'm begging no i'm not begging but i would like it to, <laughs> because it's not even worth begging over but share it please yeah so share, share this video so that other people can watch with us and listen to this because this story is important and this story might actually save somebody's life or save somebody coming here it will save them money even if it doesn't save your life it will definitely save you money and you know it would uh, benefit you in some ways to have knowledge especially if you're coming here to cave you need to know this if you don't know this it could possibly mean um you are uh being treated in a way that is not fair or in well you could still be treated in a way that's not fair but at least you know how to handle it so this is a place of knowledge inspiration you know i'm sharing my time here and my life with you because i want us all to learn and you know i'm learning from you guys that thank you daniel for sharing and one other person for sharing i don't know who that person is but if you haven't already shared can you please please share yes i'm saying pretty please pretty please share okay so my journey back okay my journey to kiev was fine right i take a taxi like i do when i go to kiev and there's a set price that i pay for this taxi i have no problem with it we don't have problem they don't have problem hello are oluwashion thank you for joining i'm just telling a story of my journey coming coming to uh kiev from uh coming from kiev to the house um the house is in another town um so anyway so, I, I finished my treatment. I don't want to go into my treatment again. I can go on and on about my treatment and I don't want to go on because I think some people are bored of it already. <laughs> they don't like to hear about my treatment. So I don't want to go on about it again. But listen, you <laughs> let me just tell you what happens because that way you will hear a new story. Hello. <laughs> You'll hear a new story. So, okay, this is what happened, yeah. So, I went, uh, I took a cab from the peri perio center, which is the perio dentist that treated my gum. I take a cab from there all the time. This is probably my fifth or my sixth appointment there, right? So, I take a cab there from all the time. I take a cab there because I go early in the morning or, you know, I don't want to inconvenience anybody uh, or wait for the car or the drivers. So, I just go by myself. It's only me. I know where I'm going and after my treatment, I come back. It's not too expensive to get a cab from there and back or go and back. So, anyway, today, I took a cab, right? I gave them my address before they called a the cab. They gave them the address of where I'm going, as usual. So um, the cab uh, came, picked me up. In the cab, it was telling the cabman was telling me that it's going to take. First of all, right, the price that they quoted was lower than normal, but it's not that low, but lower than normal. So when I got into the cab. The driver told me that, oh, um, the, he can't find my address on the map. He can find another address, but not my address. I said, I know where I'm going, so if you get to the area, I can show you. Unfortunately for me, the address that he was given is not even where I was going at all. Yeah, But before I get to that, that's not even the problem. The problem is, right, when um, I got into the car, the guy said to me, why are you here in... Ukraine, what are you doing here? Where are you from? I said, I'm from England. 
you know, so he said, where are you from? And then I said, I'm from London. So he said, okay, what are you doing here in Ukraine, Ukraine? So I was like, okay, I'm here for self-development, personal development. I just wanted to say that the guy didn't understand what I meant. So he was like, Pen no, 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 I don't know. So I don't know what to do. I don't speak uh, Russian. I don't speak Ukraine. So I just kept quiet and I took my book. So, you know, me, I don't like any dull moments. If I'm not watching a video to inspire me, I'm reading a book to inspire me. I don't, I just don't want to sit down without doing anything. I always have something that I have to do. So if I'm not on the vlog, that's why vlog is so cool for me. So if I'm not doing vlogs, I'm reading. If I'm not reading, I'm on the internet. If I'm not on the internet, I'm talking to somebody. If I'm not talking to somebody, I'm doing an interview. I'm, I'm always active, especially since I've been here. You know, it's a, it's a lifestyle that I've adapted. I adopted and I am adapting too. So I actually love it. I like, I like being active all the time. Until I go to sleep, I'm constantly active. Even in my sleep, I'm active. So anyway, so I got in the, so I sat in the car. Two minutes later, I took out a book I was reading. And he said, oh, what book are you reading? So he, um, he said to me, can I have it? So he took the book. Um, and you know, one of my favorite book at the moment is Dr. Sunday Adelaide's book. And the book is titled, Who Am I, Why Am I Here? I've read that book so many times and I can't stop myself from reading it because every time I read it, I get new inspiration, I get new knowledge. So that was the book that I took out. I was going, I had two books here yeah, and I have a Kindle, but I just took that one out. I don't know why I did. That book got me into trouble. As soon as this guy picked up the book, read the name, Emmanuel, thank you for joining us. As soon as he read the name, right, this guy went mad. Do you know, in a very subtle way, he said, ha, 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 ha. He said, oh, mafia, money, he did this, money, mafia, um, money, mafia, and he said, and then he did this, um, he did this hand like this, hmm, hmm, with his mouth like, hmm, 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 like the Russian, Russian, hmm, 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 so I was like, okay, um, money, and I was laughing, I was like, money, no, I don't want this child, I was thinking, I don't want this guy to charge me because he thinks that this person has got lots of money or, you know, but the mafia really puzzled me, you know, when he said mafia. So I was like, okay, fine. In any case, yeah, no money. Money, if I know what the, uh, the charges is for the cab, so it's not going to be a big deal. So we got to stop. Hello, Sel, how are you? Thank you for joining. I hope you had a good time on your birthday yesterday. I miss you, baby. How are you? I hope you're all right. So anyway, so he did, hmm, hmm. And he was like, huh, huh, mafia, money. So I was like, okay, fine. I laughed a bit and I just, you know, shrugged it off. He gave me back my book and we were going. So he took me to a destination. He was acting funny and driving really crazy. Sometimes they drive crazy here, so it's not a big deal. It's like, it's worse than driving in Nigeria. So that's not a big deal. I'm okay with that. So as that went on, I, uh, when he got to the destination that he had on his, um, tablet or on his phone because that's where he thought he was going hello chica thank you for joining Mwah. so anyway i thought okay fine that's all right right let's just um he said oh the, at the middle of the road he said oh where 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 am i going i said no this is not where i live this is not where i'm going you know take me to where i'm going so i thought oh and then the guy showed me his phone and said this is where i'm going i said no 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 this is not where i'm going seriously um, then I took my phone out and I gave him the address. I showed him the address. So he said, no, this is the address that they gave him. I, co I couldn't tell the difference because I don't know. I don't really know how to read Russian. So I said, no, this is the one I'm going. The one on my phone is where I'm going. So he said, okay, um, it's going to be more money. I said, yes, I thought as much because they gave me a different amount, which is much lower uh, where I was. So I said, no problem. The amount, we will go. Guess what, yeah? It didn't even take up to 20 minutes from where we were. This guy decided to charge me double, double when we got here. I said, no way. How can you charge me this amount? He said, he, he told me that this is the amount that is going to charge me. He was speaking in Russian language. I don't know the language. So I, I came in. I came to the gates because you have to press a buzzer. They let us in. I let him in when we shouldn't really let people in, I think. Because the reaction from the security was like, who's this strange person that I let in? So I tried to explain to the security when I got home that this person is trying to uh, rip me off. You need to speak to him. The, the security guy doesn't understand. So I had to call somebody that speaks English and Russian. And then the person came. Hmm. 
this guy said that uh, this is how much he's going to charge. So I told the person, I told the person the whole story. I said, I pay half of this amount every time I go to where I'm going, where I, I came from, and I don't understand. Yes, there was a, a misunderstanding with address, but even from there, it shouldn't cost this much. It, doesn't, it didn't even take long to get here. So it is try to explain to the guy. We tried to call the Perio Center to say how much was I quoted to try and resolve the issue. The guy was just going mad and shouting and saying that, um, hello, hello, Emmanuel, how are you? Thank you. So... <laughs> Sorry for this, you're sharing serious. No, Emmanuel, don't worry. I'm just sharing it with you so that you guys know. Hello, Apostle Samson. So, so that you guys know. I am not positive. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm like a proper Nigerian girl, yeah? So, and a British girl combination. So there's no way anybody's going to mess me around without me fighting, okay? So I don't like fighting, but if I have to, I will. But I still gave him the money because he didn't want to get out of Dr. Sunday's house. The security were getting anxious. They wanted to boot him out. But I don't want any trouble on my behalf, okay? So anyway, actually, Ale um, one of the, uh, Pastor Sunday's um, assistants actually paid. It was actually Alex that paid the difference. So, and he was just so gracious. Anyway, I then, uh, so Alex started discussing with him. We made a few phone calls to the, uh, to the uh, cab office and all that. And then... Um, he started to cuss and insult Alex and said, why is he working for this person? You know, why is he working for mafia and all that? And he started causing some argument. So let me just tell you, right? Dr. Sunday's name in some areas with some ignorance in here, they abuse him. They don't like it. They think that he's got loads of money and he's a mafia. That's what they think right and even when i came back i was saying to dr sunday that look this is what happened to me your name i said it and this person is um uh <laughs> this person charged me so much and he was doing this and he also tried to fight with um your assistant alex you can see i wanted to say alex i didn't want to mention names but yeah alex actually helped me out because alex we we find out that the guy was lying and that the guy hello king sk how are you i hope you're okay thank you for watching watching this so the guy will overcharge me double and we confirmed that we called the station where the cab was from we call i called um the peria center where they called the cab it doubled the amount because of the person's house that was coming can you believe that this is what i expect in nigeria not in Ukraine, for God's sake. Hey, I couldn't believe it. Look at me with my head. Eh? I couldn't believe it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, guys. You guys sending your thumbs up and your love. I appreciate you, too. Thank you so much. I couldn't believe it. This is what happened to me. So, Dr. Sunday's name can neither save your life, but if you're in some people's um, environment, it will cost you money. It cost me double for cab. Yeah? So I just thought I shared that with you. <laughs> I know Joe was is laughing at me. He said, Lord, welcome to Ukraine. Thank you, all. Prince Ade. I know Joe. Thank you. Thank you for welcoming me to Ukraine. No, this name is costing me money. And the other thing that I heard, guys, let me tell you from now. If you mention his name in the airport, they might not even let you into the country. Apparently, with some people, with some people would appreciate it and they welcome you and be happy. If you mention his name with some people, they don't want to know. They just, I don't know. You know, there's some kind of prejudice going on here. So I just thought I'd share with you. Hello, KG. Thanks for joining. I can't believe this. This is what's happening. It cost me double. Luckily, I decided I was going to pay him a little bit more, you know. Um, well, not more than 400 because he missed the road. Me, I'm a generous person. I consider myself to be. I'm fair. Maybe I'm not even generous. I think I'm more fair than generous. I, 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 I usually pay uh, 200 right? I decided that I was going to give this guy 250 anyway because he already missed the road and took me to a wrong destination. But not 400 That's pure cheating. Pure cheating. So Alex gave me 150 back you know, saying that because he didn't have the time, he was busy to sort out the situation and the guy was aggravating him. So he felt responsible and gave me 150 back. I wouldn't have taken the 150, but he insists. I think this is the culture here. You know, he had his reasons and I politely and graciously took it, but I'm happy in the end. 
that kind of rattled me a bit but not enough for me to even be worried i just thought i'd share it with you guys you need to be careful if you come here there's some people and i know that it's like this in nigeria as well probably in other countries as well where you know people want to rip you off when they hear where you're from or who you know um so it's it's a rip off yeah 400 that's my trip to key from Lviv to and fro can you imagine Somebody just said Lviv is far, far, far further up, isn't it? I know, Joe. Confirm that, please. Ola Dapo. So, so why do you think Pastor Sunday's name is causing troubles? Well, you know what, right? You have I, personally, it's not even that it's causing trouble. People think that he's got money, right? But you, as an individual, is not. They're just envious. They think it's good money, and a lot of these people here, they're ignorant. They're not educated. They just hear things, just like many people in many countries. They hear things, and they come to a conclusion. They don't do their own investigation. They don't know how to check facts. They don't know how to check anything. They don't know how to think. T.Y. Moore, thank you so much for joining me. Is wealth or his personality? You judge for yourself. Why should anybody's wealth be a problem? Why should somebody's wealth be an issue for you? T.Y. Moore, I love you too. I've seen your love and I really feel encouraged. Thank you so much. Um, why should be his personality be a problem for other people? His personality in what way? Yeah, it's quite a distance, 5 to 12 hours. Exactly. You're doing a 5 to 12 hours journey for 400 true and fro. And I'm doing in a taxi uh, a 40 minutes drive for 400 one journey. That's how you know this guy is ripping me off. I'm not stupid. I've done this journey so many times. I know that there's no way that it's going to cost 400 pounds. Yeah, I mean, sorry, no pounds. What the hell am I talking about? <laughs> I'm in Ukraine. Excuse my language. <laughs> 400 pounds. No, it's not 400 pounds. It's probably a grivnia or whatever they call it. <laughs> thank you so much, to my boy. You're the best. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, I can't believe this. <laughs> This person is charging me this much and he got away with it. He took the money. I said, good readings to him. You know, I didn't even say anything. I just thank God that I have the money. I'm, I meant probably of what he stands for. What does he stand for? What concerns anybody with what he stands for? Is that a reason why somebody should rip me off? It doesn't matter what he stands for. Your integrity should be integrity. Why should somebody charge me more for what he stands for or his personality or his wealth? Those things shouldn't matter. You know, what are you saying to why what are you saying, Ola? I'm trying to understand you because you don't even know this guy. I, I from what I know, I don't care who he is, what he does, or anything. I took a cab, right? Why should the cab cost me more because of the person that I know? Why? I get you, Marua. Ola, I don't get it. I'm just saying because you're trying to say because of his person, those things doesn't matter. It shouldn't make any difference what he, the person that I know's personality or the person that I know. So if I know a poorer person, is he going to charge me less? You know, if I know somebody that is flamboyant, is he is going to charge me more? What is, there's no point there. That's what I'm trying to say, you know. And this is about integrity. And this is about people to think, thinking person as well. This guy thinks that he's got away. Princess Tukumba, thank you so much for joining us. This guy thinks he's getting away, he's getting away with extra money charging me double. He intentionally charged me double. Whatever his reasons are, they're not justified. And that's what I'm trying to say. That is so unfair. And the reason I shared it with you guys is that if you're coming here to Ukraine, just be wary and be careful of those kind of people. They're all over the place so that you can save your own money. Because I have now spent double on a journey that I shouldn't have spent double on because somebody, uh, because of what I was, the, the book I was reading and the assumption that person made. That person is not a thinking person. That money is not going to affect me much because I actually got reimbursement. And even the clinic that I went to, they're so professional, they know about this case, and already they're saying that they're going to give me double my money already. You know, they're going to pay for every, what I have lost and my time already, and they're going to reimburse me. So I dealt with it. I called the cab, and even though I don't speak Russian, I got people to call their office to deal with this situation, and I called the, um, the place where they got me a cab. They made a mistake, yes, by giving the wrong address. It's not a big deal that they made a mistake. Anybody can make a mistake, but the guy has no integrity. He, he's an ignorant. He doesn't even know the right thing to do, and he, he shows his ignorance. But I'm telling you that there are many people out there that are ignorant. So let's just be wary. Hello, Ifoma. Thank you so much for joining. I appreciate you joining. So, guys, 
my dear, it happens in places. I go to do my hair and they charge me double because they think they are they can afford to rip you off. Exactly. Thank you. Why is it that they do that? I don't get it. You know, even let's just forget about Ukraine. Why do people do that? Where is integrity? Why, why is it that people think that it's okay to do that? It's not okay. If I have more money, why should I be paying more for, for a service or a product just because I have more money? I worked hard for my money. Why should I pay more? Why? You know, I just don't get that mentality. It's about integrity. You know, if this is the way people think, then this is wrong. And if we do it, if you do it, or if I'm doing it, I've learned a big lesson today. If it's something that I do, and I look at people, and I do this, I'm going to stop doing it. You know, I'm going to reassess myself. I'm going to make an inventory of myself. If I do it, I'm cutting it out right from today. And if you do it, please don't do it. It doesn't matter what somebody has or what they have. You shouldn't overcharge them for a service. You know, it's unfair. It's not right. You know, it's... It's, uh, I don't know, apart from the word integrity, I don't know what word to use. It's just wrong to do that. It's even bad for the economy if you do that. You know, why? And it doesn't help you. The person that is doing it, it's not, it's not going to help you. You're not going to be richer because you're overcharging me. It's impossible. You know, you cannot, you cannot sow banana and get, um, you cannot sow something horrible and reap something good. It's impossible to do that in life. You know, people think that they get away with this kind of thing, but they don't get away with it. Karma, we catch up with you. That's the law. That is the law. It's a principle. Do, oh, gosh, I just turned this around by mistake. Guys, I'm sorry about that. I just showed you the bed. <laughs> I'm just sitting there minding my business. Yeah, yeah. Let me read your, your, um, your notes. I am trying not to use the word religion. They might just not be friendly due, due to his preaching. So it doesn't matter what it is. I'm just saying that it is wrong. It's a principle that is wrong, Allah. You know, use religion, use whatever you want to use. It's just wrong. There's no justification. That's what I am trying to say. Don't try to justify these guys. You know, people that don't believe in anything. They don't believe in God. They don't even fear anything. So why even bother using religion? You don't even know their life. You don't know anything about them. So don't even blame religion for anything. This is not a religion matter. And then, um, uh, yes, I really was saying, yeah, glad to know you ended well. Oh, the other thing I didn't tell you, you know what the guy did, right? He was trying to intimidate me. He was making calls and talking in Russian. And then what did he do? He went to the petrol station, he packed, and he left. He said he's going to the toilet. He didn't even tell me directly that he was going to the toilet. He was just saying, toilet, toilet. And I said, are you going to the toilet? Because you're leaving me in the car on my own. This is a cabman. And he just left me in the car. He went to the toilet, I think, at the petrol station. He came out. And then he started driving again. He was doing everything to intimidate me. He was just angry. He heard that name. or he, I mean, he read that name in my book. And he just went flipped. He, he was just... You know, you know when people are envious of people that they believe are successful and they're just jealous of them? He was just so green with envy that, oh, you're going to the mafia. He was saying mafia. He was saying um, uh, money. He was doing this, you know, like, you know, what you do, what you do with your hand. Sorry, the lighting is a bit funny. Yeah, it was what you do with your hand. He was doing this, like, hmm, money, money, money. And, you know, he's proper only, you know, only that wants to want to reap where he has not sold. So anyway, he got a little bit of my money. It's not a big deal. I got the money back. Thank you, Chigo. That is poverty mentality. Thank you. There's people that hate people for the money that they have, the success, for wealth. That is a poverty mentality because you're thinking that you can't do better. You know, you cannot do well. So when other people are doing well, you hate them because it likes attract likes. If you think that you're good, you have a good personality or you have wealth, you're not going to be jealous of other people that have money. You're not going to be jealous of other people that are doing well for themselves. So again, thank you, Chigo. You are totally right. That's poverty mentality. Poverty mentality gets you upset when other people are doing well. That's it. That's it. I think that's the key. You said it all, Chigo. Thank you. Um, it is it is sad, but the reality. Well, it's, it shouldn't be reality. So if we all say no to this attitude... And we don't do it, more people will catch on to it. And when people do it as well, we tell them, like, look, this is wrong. I love you. You're a good person. I believe, but this is wrong. This mentality is wrong. Don't hate people because they're successful. Don't hate people because they, they have good personality and people love them. 
too many people do it even friends they some people that call themselves friends they just dislike you because you're okay, you're okay you're you're happy you know it's wrong don't hate this all this attitude is just bad you know please let's just check ourselves please it's just wrong i just thought i'd share that with you this wasn't even what i was going to talk about today but i thought it's a little bit juicy one number two i couldn't help myself i want to share it. it's a vlog after all so you really need to hear this and then uh number two i thought it's teaching us a lesson actually it's taught me a lesson um the lesson that i've learned is that be careful where i use dr sunday's name you know especially i, I wrong ignorance don't even bother you know they're jealous they have poverty mentality they have issues with their lives that they need to solve and i can't help them if i said this is so unfair it's so unfair but yeah i'm over it already i'm all right well some people just like to take advantage of you being different and especially when they feel you are new in town it's not because i'm new in time again it's because of their integrity they have no integrity and they're nobody maya i look like bank of <laughs> Daniel, <laughs> Daniel said that Maya, Maya, you look like Bank of England. That's why the guy decided to read. <laughs> I don't look like you know, in fact, yeah, I don't look like Bank of England though. No. Let me tell you, even what I wore out today, yeah, because I was just wearing these trousers and you know I had a jacket on. When Dr. Sunday saw me, I said, why did you wear this out? Don't wear this one to town again. <laughs> Dr. Sunday was saying that don't wear it. So it's not because I look like Bank of England, though. No, it's not. It's just because the guy don't have integrity. I'll tell you that. <laughs> the guy don't have integrity one, one bit. That's the reason. Because Dr. Sunday said, even um, Julie is here, right? Julie in Goya. When Dr. Sunday said, look at her. Look at the way she looks here. Um, look at what she's wearing. So it's not I don't look like Bank of England. Bank of England looks good Bank of England has got a lot of this, you know, I don't I just look I was wearing one trousers. I said that trousers I should be wearing at home I you know where that trousers out. I don't want to show you the trousers because he said this yeah And I was I was laughing. But I was thinking was you know, you wear your own clothes. Let me wear my own clothes What's your what's the um, the thing there? But he was saying and then other people came in and they start laughing at me and I was laughing as well that so it's not bank of england i'm just telling you that part of the story today because they were all laughing at me about what i'm wearing they said my trousers looks like you know i'm just at home like uh, a track suit so i shouldn't wear that to town again which um i think i'm going to heed to that advice because more people that saw me they said that yeah um, judy said that she's a fashion um fashion guru so if she said that as well well i'm taking and dr sunday he it will tell you what he thinks so he said that what, what, what kind of trousers is this it was like it doesn't even suit you look at your leg look at this in there i was like okay fine you know thank you thank you for telling me it's only you guys that sees me that can tell me so i'm going to make changes in that area so that's it oh it's not because i look like bank of england but that was pretty funny thank you daniel that was really funny you made me really laugh hard emmanuel by by said sometimes it is better not to mention name when i travel outside your area of juris when i say travel outside your area of juris jurisdiction envy is most in most of this area i had similar experience on my first travel to poland 11 years ago but some let me read this you see this is even in poland but sometimes don't pay taxi driver just let them take you to your destination and then tell your hotel or host where you are coming from yes i mean but i'm used to this this is not my first time that's the thing emmanuel i have been out taking taxi from here they give you a set amount but because the initial amount that they gave me was lower and it was a wrong destination i was prepared to give him more i was giving, prepared to give him more so there was no um set amount given from the onset that was correct because we had a different we had a wrong they gave him a wrong address that was going the wrong destination so i was prepared to even compensate him but not compensating to the tune of doubling the amount when the journey was half the journey you know it was just outrageous so that's the problem but i do i do hear what you said emmanuel i'm going to take note of that that's a really good advice and other people as well you know what emmanuel says here is probably going to help um many people and will save you money so it might not be the fact that it's a bad name but just seeing you as a foreigner 
might be an issue but that's about integrity and that's a shame that people behave that way they'll never be rich they'll never have money they'll always be poor if money is what they're looking for by ripping somebody off they'll never have it it's not a curse so i don't curse i'm just saying that it's a fact it's a rule you cannot sow where you have not you cannot reap where you have not sowed so it's just as simple as that it's a law all right typical african businessman it's not even african this is Europe or Lada for people African. If it was Africa, maybe I wouldn't be surprised. Actually, this place is worse than Europe. Somebody that lives here told me that this place is more corrupt than Nigeria. Yes, that Ukraine is more corrupt than Nigeria. So, you know, so what do I expect? So, you know, you need to watch this video. You need to watch it. It's like my experience. You're asking me what happened. You need to watch this video again. It's my experience here um, on my journey back in a taxi. I just shared it with everybody so that people would know and they would know what to do when it comes to them and you know how people feel especially you also involve dr sunday's name you know and prejudice you, you and people somebody that lacks integrity so we've learned a lesson here today on this i've led i've definitely learned a lesson and the other thing i was going to tell you um guys you know today i said i was going to talk uh, i had a topic in mind and the uh, topic is uh what's the topic oh i can't remember now start from p uh potential sorry <laughs> my my mind just went blank for a minute so the topic i had in mind was potential i wanted to share about potential with you but i've already taken enough of your time it's a vlog don't forget today i'm having the fifth interview with uh, pastor derek schneider yesterday the interview was really good he had a topic which he uh, treated and the topic was um, intelligence. It was um, no uh, EQ. So that's emotional intelligence. He spoke about it, and I learned so much from that topic yesterday. And today, I'm not sure what he's going to speak about. We're going to take another interview tonight. Uh, we're probably going to do this interview about seven, but you should get a notification, and it will be on Dr. Sandia Delage's uh, channel or page, should I say? I don't know why I say channel, but hey. Um, maybe it's because of YouTube, that's why I say channel, but um, I shouldn't say channel, it's page. So it's Dr. Sunday at the largest page. So it will be on that tonight. It will be our fifth interview with Pastor Derek Schneider. He's here for the anniversary. The anniversary is in a couple of days. I'm looking forward to that. I've never been to an anniversary here. I just want to see how they do things and I'm looking forward to that, as I said. And then after the anniversary, we have HMT, which starts on Sunday evening, straight after the anniversary. On Sunday, the, fi uh, the final day of the anniversary is Sunday. Straight after that, in the evening, we're starting HMT. That's History Makers Training. And that will last for um, a week, or should I say five days. So it ends on Friday morning. So that's going to be in the next few weeks. It's going to be quite hectic here. And I'm looking forward to that with the rest of the week. And I have another appointment at the Peru Center uh, next week, Monday in the morning. I'm actually looking forward to it. Um, the Peru dentist appointment, the plasma treatment was really easy. There, it was a little bit of discomfort, but it's not a big deal. It didn't take that long. They extracted my blood, get the, got the plasma out, and injected the plasma into my gum. Uh, there's videos about that. I will post that video because I didn't have internet to do it live. So I will post the video. And guys, I appreciate you so much. Can some, someone tell me what happened? Go back and hit us. We always hit my dear. Just be careful in calling DSA name more. I've learned my lesson. I will be Kemi. Thank you. Please, I want you back. Save <laughs> Kemi. You're such a gem. Thank you. You will get me back to them. Don't worry. If you're my dear, they do. Hello, beautiful queen. Thank you so much. Thank you. Cheers, Sandra. Thanks for joining. But we're go I'm going now. So. I will let you know. Yemi Ade Yemo, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, thank you. Um, Shonero, thank you again. Have you had some sleep from work? I hope you've had some rest. Shonero, I hope everything is okay. Guys, I appreciate you so much. And, you know, I enjoyed this time, this journey that I'm sharing with you. And being able to laugh with you has been priceless. You know, I enjoy it so much. And um, just sharing my day-to-day -day experience here with you getting energy from you your energy is so positive i appreciate it if anything happens that i need to share with you i will share it with you i was going to show you videos of people working uh, but i don't want to disturb them right now i'm going to work as well i've been lapsing a bit with my work in the house you know the things that i need to do to support this um 
household and this system and the machine bless you my sister thank you very much um that was from apostle uh samson i think that was earlier so anyway guys um i will leave you now you know what's happening in the next few hours so i would um get back to you on dr sunday's uh at the largest page and uh if anything happens that's exciting i will post it or i will do another vlog but you know vlog is a video log of my day or things that's happening i just like to tell you life and direct like this i hope you've enjoyed it and i hope you will come back and back and back again guys do me a favor please share this video and secondly can you please like my page is at mayowa m a y o w a dot co. Please like my page. I've only got fifty likes. I need more likes. I need to start posting on it, and it would encourage me. I will still post even if you don't. Don't let me lie to you and say that you would. You would encourage me, of course. But I wanted to say that if you post stuff on there, uh, if you like my page, that's when I will post things. But I'll post things anyway. There's so many interesting things I want to share with you. Words of wisdom. Things, uh, information or knowledge that have encouraged me that have built me up I'm going to share with you and my page is going to be quite exciting I hope for you because I'm going to be talking about exciting things my topics will be you which is us our development everything about us so I call it you and then also um, success you know everybody wants to attain success achieve success Su success is a lifestyle I realize that here it's a lifestyle we need to be successful all the time not a goal that we just achieved and then that's it success should be our life from the beginning to the end so i learned that here and i want to share how you can attain success and be successful throughout your life so that's two topics so is you success and then money who doesn't love money i love money who don't you know the love of money is the root of all evil oh yeah that's true okay listen yeah money i'm going to talk about money anyway you know uh in my previous life i was a banker i work in the bank and also i'm a project man i am a project manager so i worked in the bank all my life i'm interested in money maybe i don't love money because i don't want it to be the root of all evil but hey money is important it's important you answer it or or money answer it all so i'm going to talk about money as well and then finally i'm going to talk about sex so we have you, which is us, me, everyone, human. I don't want to put human there. It's too scientific to put human. So I said you. That's my page, myawa.co. You, success, money, and sex. Who, don't, who would not love my page? That page is going to be the page that you need to go to every day to hear, listen, um, read about topics like this. I'm going to put everything up, you know? So that's the zone to go. Ayodeji Shotin Noye, thank you for joining. Boye Galopez, thank you for joining. I'm just signing out. I'm just telling you about my page. And I would appreciate if you go and like my page. So guys, are you going to love me enough to like my page, please? Okay, I believe that you will because you spend a lot of time with me this afternoon and listen to my ranting about my experience this afternoon so i appreciate you i know you love me and i love you too thank you so much i will see you again either soon or later i will see you have a lovely afternoon and a pleasant pleasant interaction with others and remember integrity is everything don't don't let anybody cheat you and don't cheat anybody in return okay thank you so much i love you See you, see you, see you later. Bye.